course, got to forget everything that happened before the showcase, but they got to get some revenge here against the Wolves. Now, one of those games, it was a 20-point lead for the Sky Force, and they ended up losing by 15. He did not play college basketball due to some interesting developments. Drew Smith blocks Shimonga, 6'11", center out of Dayton. First points on the board, Mike Smith. To the corner where Vincent Edwards, a 6'8 forward out of Purdue, drives in the lane. The hook shot is good. Shimonga trying to post up on Kropple. Will hook it up left-handed and nice soft bounce. Micah Potter of the Sky Force, Chris Silva for the Iowa Wolves. Jay Henderson with a three. And the Sky Force find the bottom. Brandon Knight was a leader of this team. You know, the oldest guy there getting all these young guys going. And these young guys are going to have to step up, and Jay Henderson being one of them. Lewis able to find the range. Really close. Drew Smith had to force one up. He'll tap the rebound to Henderson, and he is promptly rejected by Jashmanga. McKinley Wright, nice bounce pass. Now you see that nice execution. And again, this is the championship portion of the NBA G League season. Nice drive to the basket. Brian Bowen. Schmaga with his third rebound. On the other end, Isaiah Miller. Early in the shot clock, driving to the hole and scoring. Also entering the lineup for the Iowa Wolves, Isaiah Briscoe. So two Isaiahs for the monikers in the Iowa Wolves lineup. Turnaround jumper, nice baseline. On the other end, it's a three on three. We'll see if Briscoe will press the issue. He does, and he scores. <laughs> Flung it back in. The one who was able to pick it up was Bright. Here's three from the corner for Canyon Berry, and he buries it. Only nine points in the first quarter, and none yet here in the first almost three minutes of this quarter. But there's Jay Henderson. Hits his second three-pointer of the game. Well, he had a very important three that basically allowed the Sky Force to get a win against the Stockton Kings at the showcase. You can see the back door cut. There's a three on the other end. And Lewis gets a second consecutive bucket. Too much English. Right, no, oh, nice pocket pass, Shamanga. A couple of baskets together, the Sky Force have not done so. But there's a three. Pedro Bradshaw makes it 28 17. 30 to 17. Iowa Wolves with a 13 point advantage. There's McKinley Wright. Yep, and those will be for the rest of the quarter. That's the fourth team foul on the Wolves. Yeah, I and mean, that's how you get back into a game right there one shot for two points. And Bradshaw with the three from the corner for the Iowa Wolves. Bowen, Shimonga, Lewis, right. Although Edwards goes to the bench. Kropel in transition. Stewart, baseline jumper. Kind of fading towards the baseline. That's a shot he was very comfortable taking. And Briscoe on the handle. Miller for three. And the bottom. Yeah, when you when you bring those elbows up like that, mm -hmm. there's there's plenty of potential for for bad things to happen. Stewart with a hook shot in the lane, put back up and in by Kropel. And the second opportunity doesn't go either. Shamanga, long up ahead pass to Bowen. Bowen tries. Thompson is able to score. Bowen cross court to right. Now Edwards for three. Good. Vincent Edwards, 40% free th three-point shooter. Mike Smith, now outside for three. And DJ Stewart bombs away. Ferguson is able to keep it. Dotted line jumper, Trey Morning. Now they move Mike Smith back to the top of that zone. 
two on the shot clock. McKinley right. Shimanga, that one has uh, played hot potato with it. Skyforce able to get it. DJ Stewart unable to slam it through. He will remain on the court, but he's got to be real careful. Lewis able to sky to the basket, lay it in. Working that two-man game again. Smith that time takes it all the way in. So Wright works it over. Here comes Edwards. The spin on Henderson. Puts that one off glass. Nicely done by Edwards. Got himself into good possession. Skyforce trailing by 20. Martin Kroppel. Swish on the three. Three for Lewis. Off the back iron. Working hard. Bowen able to get the putback. Teams trading baskets here in the early goings of this third quarter. Step back for Smith. He's got one short. He's got one medium. DJ Stewart. Here comes Drew Smith. That one was wide open. That was a good cut there and good court vision there. By Thompson. Smith with the fake. That is a three. <laughs> they will review it, though. But he wants to make sure. So at the next dead ball, they'll take a look at it. Shemong, they will not review that one. That one will be for posterity <laughs> for the poster. Work it down to eight in the shot clock. Patient in this possession. Right on the drive. Tough shot. Bradshaw did all he could do. Briscoe on the take, on the make. Got down the floor within three seconds. Step back is good for Briscoe. Seven to shoot as Briscoe. Free throw line jumper is good. Briscoe has had a third quarter. Aggressive defense out on the perimeter for the Sky Force to start this possession. Miller had trouble gathering, but was able to finish it. Trey Morning, nice footwork with the scoop. That one was pretty. That was a good shot there. Not really secure. Now the Sky Force will get in the offensive possession. And three for Tarkus Ferguson. The Sky Force getting a couple of buckets back to back. I don't think they've been able to string together three. They will now with Trey Morning depositing. Good looking by Trey Morning, kind of just gather the ball and get it in, not rush anything. Count that basket, Isaiah Briscoe. The three is no good for Briscoe. Ferguson, transition three. He's hot, Tarkus Ferguson. Canyon Berry, nice move through the double team. The kick out to Miller. Nice offense for the Iowa Wolves in that possession. Ferguson, heat check. <laughs> the setting is on simmering for Tarkas Ferguson. Isaiah Briscoe is going to press the issue early on. Now backs away. Here comes the pick. Smith will pop. And it's good. I had to roll with that one, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Three to shoot as Briscoe puts it up, and now Briscoe. A 12 point game. McKinley Wright, he will step back, and he'll add to the Iowa total. Post it up with Thompson. McKinley Wright picks the pocket. Up ahead to Briscoe. Briscoe rises, fires it down. D.J. Stewart, he is unable. Let's see if the, what the Wolves do. Transition three, McKinley right, bottom. Wolves with the rebound. Wolves next home game, they'll play on the 13th. They'll be against the South Bay Lakers. No, that's the South Bay Lakers for the Sky Force on the 18th. The Sky Force yet to score in this fourth quarter. There, they finally get on the board. Martin Kroppel mismatch. Picked up by Henderson. Nice flash by Bowen. Bowen, very good job. 
Skyforce did all they could on that possession. They've already played two games in the showcase portion of the season. Both of those Iowa wins. As Lewis able to get to the rack. And the ball is still loose. Crumple up ahead, Ferguson. Ferguson one on two. And that's two for Ferguson. Crumple in the jersey. Here comes Stewart, floater in the lane. Got the roll. DJ Stewart. Now up ahead to Ferguson. Ferguson had to pull up on the baseline. Henderson for three. Yes. Just like that, it's a 15 point game. Shimanga unable to keep a handle on it. Henderson, Ferguson, three. Yes. And this will be a timeout for the Iowa Wolves. Henderson, Ferguson. He's been hot and he remains that way. Tarkas Ferguson makes it a nine point game. Well, so far, six seconds remaining on the shot clock. Edwards beats the shot clock. Oh, and Stewart has it picked. Here comes Edwards, and he will lay it in. Freight train of coming. 102-89. So a little bit of the uprising quelled. Here comes Ferguson. Count the basket. And there will be a free throw. So they'll probably have about a second to put it, get it off. Briscoe does and sinks the Skyforce hopes with that shot. 30 seconds left. Do get it across front court. And then the recipient of the bucket. The Iowa Wolves will next appear Sunday, Saturday, excuse me, against the against Birmingham. And then they'll be home on the 13th against the Memphis Hustle.